Hello and welcome to the Michael Lewis Marketing Suite video tutorial on the basics on how to edit on our website. So this is a basics training video. Uh, we're going to cover how to navigate around the editor, how you can change the text and change images and manipulate the template on a basic level today. If you're looking for more advanced tools on how you can customize our templates even further, then please see the advanced video that you'll find on our YouTube channel. It's also linked in the description below. But today's, this video is going to focus today on basics of the editor. So if you're looking for a video on how to get to where I am now, then just go back to the previous video in this series um, for how to select a template on the website. Once you're in the editor, uh, notice that we do have a video tutorial button at the top left. This will take you to our YouTube training channel where you can see videos similar to this one here, step by step to walk you through on how to create different products on our site. We also offer a change back template button if you decided you wanted to switch out the back that you have selected with another one, you have that option here. You can save your work to continue working on it at a later time. Hire us to create this for you. We'll take you to our virtual assistant website where you can learn about the power of leverage. Maybe you love the look and feel of our products, but you're looking for a good way to have someone do it for you uh, that's very cost effective. And our virtual assistants offer that, so that could be a good solution for you. You also have the view proof and continue button. This button will take you to the proof approval page so that you can check the product that, for any errors. Now the toolbar below those buttons reacts to anything that I have selected within the editor. So right now I don't have anything selected. So I'm looking at the general toolbar where I have the ability to add a text box. I can add an image box as well using the add image button. Now these are typically going to be advanced features because if you're sticking with our templates then you won't need to add your own text box or images. This is only when you want to add something additional to the template as the text and images can be changed within the editor itself without having to delete or remove any of the previous images or text boxes. There's also a hide safe zone, that's the red dotted line that you see on the template, and the hide cut line, which is the orange dotted line that you see on the template. The difference between the safe zone and the cut line is that the safe zone is the recommended area that you keep your images and text within the editor. It's not going to print, it's only there as a margin so that you know that if you put anything on the outside of that line, it could get cut off when it's cut down to its particular size. Now having said that, some of our templates are designed so that the images go to the edge of the product. So you can move your images and text all the way up to the cut line or the orange dotted line if you wish. Again, that's a bit more of an advanced feature, so we'll cover that in more detail in a later video. Now, to change what the text says, you simply double click on the text box, which will open the advanced text editor, where you can change this to say any message that you like. For instance, I don't have to have this be a just sold template. This could be a just listed or even an open house template. If, I'm just going to change this so that it is all capitals, and then we will commit our changes. When you commit your change, it takes you back to the general toolbar. So notice that when I had the text box selected, it takes me to the specific toolbar for text. So where I can change the font families or the font size or the colors, any of the typical tools that you would have with a Microsoft Word editor you have here. So you can italicize or bold in a font or whatever you'd like to do to it, you can do within this mini um, toolbar up top. Then you'll commit your changes after you've made them to your text box and move on to another part of the document. For instance, if I wanted to change out an image, I'm going to choose an image. Notice that my toolbar changed once again, where I have the ability to move the images or increase the width. Those are more advanced features though. For today's video, we're just going to focus on how you can change the photo. So we'll click the upload button. 
we'll browse our new computer for an image. Now we recommend using images between, first of all, we only accept JPEG and PNG images, and we recommend using images between one and two megabytes in size. Those are typically going to be the best size for a commercial press. It's not always the best way to tell depending on the resolution of the photo, so we recommend using 300 DPI in resolution. But the best way to tell is on the proof approval page. You can download a PDF proof, which I'll show you how to do in a later video. Uh, so for today, now that the, the image is uploaded, we're simply going to crop this image by clicking and dragging over the image. This will show the cropped image on the right-hand side. You want to make sure that you crop your photos because many of our templates have a frame behind the photo. So if you crop the image, it's going to fit in that frame perfectly without being stretched or distorted in any way. So I simply insert the image after I've made my crop and it's going to upload in place of the previous image that was there. So you can change out the text and the images in this way. Remember to commit your change to anything that you've worked on before you move on to another part of the template. For instance, if we wanted to switch to the back of the document, we'll just go back to the general toolbar and then click on the back button here. You can notice that this is where the information was imported from my profile. Now, it doesn't automatically crop your headshot. It doesn't necessarily matter on this template because there's no frame behind this headshot, but it would matter with your business cards. You would want to make sure that you cropped your headshot so that it fit in the frame on the business card. There's also a spot here for an agent's logo. They can remove this if they don't want to upload their own logo just by sele selecting it and pressing the delete button. And of course, if they wanted to replace it with their own logo, they could simply upload an image in place of the one that's here, the same way that we did the image on the other side. So that's it for the basics on how to change images and text within the editor. Uh, please look to our advanced tutorial if you're looking for more customization options. Thank you so much, have a great day, and we look forward to earning your business.